Hello, I wanted to take five quick minutes to talk about a issue that's concerning me greatly that's currently going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, they're preparing to deregulate the uh, protections that the Obama administration put in to protect people from companies and individuals, uh, to protect them from uh, corruption that's going on in the telephone companies. Now, what do I mean by corruption? Because you know, everyone's corrupt, right? Well, okay. Imagine going on an airplane, or you're at the you're at the gate. You're ready to go on the airplane, and airlines are notorious for overbooking their flights so that way they could maximize profits, right? So what happens if, you know, when they get a, on the telecom and they say, we're looking for volunteers to take the next flight instead of this one, and, and what happens? They offer them free hotels, points on their frequent flyer mile cards if they have them, you know, comps, right? You give them, you give them comps. Well, imagine if the airlines said, we overbooked this flight. You're right here at the gate. The airplane's right outside. You're going to have to pay more money to get on that plane. You've already bought your ticket. You already have your service with us. But because we decided to put too many people on this flight, we're going to charge you more money. That's exactly what the telecoms are doing. We're talking about AT&T, Verizon, all of these people that are responsible for the nation's infrastructure. Okay? We have a lack of bandwidth in this country. We have an infrastructure that is way behind most other developed nations. Australia, Japan, Sweden, Germany, most European countries <laughs> have a better internet infrastructure than we do. They have full fiber optic going to everyone's home. They have so much bandwidth, they don't know what to do with it, right? They have so much consumer protections over there that we don't have to worry about any kind of corruption going on. Australia, that's a different case. They have to deal with a monopoly. They're having problems of their own. But we're having this net neutrality problem. Why? Oh, because these big companies want to use, like Netflix and Google, and they want to have all of this bandwidth. They're paying for their bandwidth. It's, it's, that's what they're paying for, right? So what's this whole thing about making different tiers for different companies? Well, basically, they want the right to be able to beef up people's internet uh, from the end user perspective speeds based off of, oh, well, you know, hey, you give us a little bit extra money and we'll give your users some faster. No, 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 no. It's, it's corruption. So to make up for the lack of infrastructure, we have to have protection under the law to state you can't do that they're about to undo that re that legislation we already have that protection now but they're going to undo it i don't like additional laws i want them to get rid of laws but the telecoms need to get their butts in line and build a better infrastructure even middle east uh, com uh countries like iraq they have a better infrastructure than we do because countries bombed their country, so they had to rebuild a new one. So it's all updated. They have better phone lines than we do in some parts. Not the war-torn areas, but the parts that... The United States, this supreme power, this empire of the world, we got a crappy net connection, right? So we need this protection until, the, until someone gets the telephone companies a little competition a little incentive to, to fix the problem that they're responsible for our bandwidth. They should be responsible for providing enough bandwidth to support the amount of data that's being put through. Sounds reasonable to me. So that's why I'm taking this quick time off. I don't know if I'm over my five minutes, but I'm going to stop now. Oh, four and a half minutes. Well. I have to get back to work. Got so many things to do. Thank you for watching this. Oh, look down in the description below. There is a wonderful website. If you want to leave a quick phone message to your representative in Washington, D.C., you put your zip code in, and this automatic thing calls up the office for you to let you leave a message or talk to a live representative.
So that's what I did. I spent about 10 minutes doing this, and it was actually quite fun. I was a lot more uh, succinct and, and brief than I am now. So thank you very much for watching this, and guys, let's protect the internet.